Today we're gonna, we woke up, we're gonna go eat breakfast, and then we're gonna go to Haiti. We're going to Dahabon, and we're gonna cross over into Haiti, we're gonna take a taxi from Dahabon, I mean over into Haiti, and then we're gonna take a taxi into uh, Port-au-Prince. We're gonna go through the whole country. This is all I'm bringing to Haiti. This camera and my passport. Where are we going right now, Rose? Haiti. Hi, Haiti. Sterling. Where are we? Hey, I'm in Haiti right now. The Haiti port. I'm crossing the border. Yeah. Sterling. You're gonna need to grab this after me. This is French. Uh, no. Spanish. Uh, poquito. Poquito. That was the one amende. One amende. One amende. Here we are just over the border, completely lost, trying to find a bus or a taxi to Port-au-Prince, and this is what happened when we asked for directions. We're on a motorbike right now. We're on a motorbike traveling through Haiti. We're standing, we're on the back of a pickup truck. First we were on a uh, motorcycle, we took a motorcycle for about uh, 15 minutes to a car. We took the car for about uh, two and a half hours. And then from there we got on, we walked across the border to IAD. Then we got on a bus for four, no, it's only like two hours. Two hours on a bus, then another five minutes on a motorcycle. Uh, this is about four hours later and we're still riding on the back of this pickup truck. So we thought the driver was telling the truth when he said this truck was going to Port-au-Prince. But actually it was just going to a town called Go Naives, far away from Port-au-Prince and didn't get there till late at night. We met a French lady who informed us that we'd be staying with her tonight and after about a half hour bus ride way out into the forest we found ourselves stuck in a compound surrounded by people talking about how it's destiny that they found us and how we're gonna do something very special for them. It turns out we were in a religious mission filled with kids. It was called the Ebenezer Mission which was trying to build schools, hospitals, and churches. Je suis soif. Je suis soif. Je suis fatigué. Je suis fatigué. So after teaching me a few useful French words, they took us on a tour of the city. Right now, we are about to enter the city of Gonaïs. What does ambassador mean to you? I mean, does that even mean anything? It's just like, <laughs> I'm the ambassador. Like, okay, I'm the king. Like, what, does that, what does that mean? <laughs> Hey, Sterling. We're having fun over here. You get it. Give it. Oh, man, you get it. That's, that's exactly what you're doing, man. Yeah. I was getting too sunburned. The sun was just beating down. So I got to get a little, little hot. <laughs> So we got to the bus station and began a four hour bus ride to Port-au-Prince and I sat sandwiched in between two other people in the middle of the aisle. The bus was so crowded that there were more than a dozen people riding on the roof. After we got to Port-au-Prince we decided to stay in the nicest hotel in the city. So this is where journalists and international and a lot of people stay, is right in this hotel. John Clyde Van Damme is going here. So I'm in the coolest hotel room in Haiti right now. This place is awesome. Like we have a little ante room outside of our room. This is still in our hotel suite. Little outdoor porch. Walk out the door. I'm gonna join my friends. They're uh, having. We're all having a nice little uh, early dinner. right 
right now. This is us. We're all in Haiti. We all bought different colored shirts. Looks like we're on a weird team or something. This right here is our collars. <laughs> this is Nick's collar. Nick is the collar green. Ross is the collar purple. And I'm not color light blue. Light blue in Haiti. Let's go to the street and then so we just fleed the hotel because they wanted to charge us tons of money and uh, we didn't have it. They lied to us and wanted to charge us so now we're fleeing and we're being stuck. Oh, as we walk. because I've been walking around in sewage. I don't know what to do. I was going to say, all right, I'll just sleep in my shoes and keep my shoes on. But there's a problem. I can't take my shorts off over my shoes because then my shoes will get in all in my shorts and I'll wear that and I'll be like wearing sewage. Not doing that. Here's what I'm going to do. There's no other option. This is freezing. There's no, where's the hot water? How do you do that? It's cold. I know, that's all you get. Hey Nick. Nick, how do you work the hot water? Oh come on, don't worry about it. Damn. Rose, how do you work the hot water? Devil's house, you know. That's a devil's house right there. We call it devil's house. Yeah. yeah. So much corruption. So much corruption, man. Yeah, so I'm Does someone still live there? No, we have the we have a new president right now. The president we have right now called Michel Matéli. He has a good heart. So after walking around the center of town for a little while, we decided to go to the beach. And we got lost. So we tried to find a way back to our hotel. Hey! No, it's over here. Look at it. Look at it up there. Look up there. Where is he taking us, dude? Oh my god. So it turns out that even though he said he did, this guy had no idea where our hotel was. Yeah, this is the best I came for. Oh my god. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Order, right? I'm sorry, guys. So he took us in a big fun circle and we ended up right at the taxi depot where we started at. So we had to get motorbikes back to the hotel. You know Hotel Mondesir? Hotel Mondesir? No. You know Hotel Mondesir? You guys have a project for the camera? Huh? I just ran into a problem. My feet are white. And then after trying to take a plane, a taxi, and a bus back to the border, we finally got a ride with these guys. Haiti wasn't the only country we went to. Click the link in the description box to see the rest of our trip. <laughs> 